Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I have my predictions for the first two episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi as of course the first two are releasing tomorrow to make up for them not being released yesterday as they should have been. Um, so, how do I think we're going to start this probably amazing show off? Well, pretty basic. We're probably just going to be heading to Tatooine to meet up with our old beloved Jedi Master, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and the Lars family. So, Uncle Owen, Aunt Beru, and Luke. May see that little shot of Luke that we've seen in the trailers with him pretending to fly a C-16 Skyhopper um, on top of the um, Lars homestead on Tatooine, and Obi-Wan using his binoculars to make sure Luke's okay. And then at some point, probably not long after, I think we'll get that now very much infamous exchange between Obi-Wan and Owen, with Owen basically telling Obi-Wan to leave him the hell alone. Because he knows, he knows how Vader came about, and Obi-Wan played a big part in that. So, Owen, admittedly pretty understandably, doesn't really want him anywhere near Luke, because he knows he's Force-sensitive, and could he could end, potentially end up creating another, another Darth Vader out of his nephew. Which I can perfectly understand, but on the other hand, Luke is literally the only hope the galaxy has. If Luke doesn't become a Jedi, the galaxy's doomed forever. So Obi-Wan can't really allow that to happen. Which, of course, we know how that goes in the end. Pretty damn well, if I do say so myself. So we'll get that little exchange between um, Obi-Wan and Owen, and then we will head to the Fortress Inquisitorius to meet our main antagonists of the show, the Inquisitors, who of course are the Grand Inquisitor and the fifth brother from Star Wars Rebels, as well as a new um, Inquisitor, as I've mentioned before, Reva, or Reva, or Reva. I don't know yet. I'm I'm using all three until I know what the actual pron pronunciation is in the show. So this video is going to be using all three. Have fun keeping up with that. <laughs> so we will see those three, and then they will very quickly probably discover that, oh my god, Obi-Wan Kenobi's on Tatooine! And then they're probably going to make a beeline for the planet. And then we'll probably get that very now also infamous shot of Reva, Reva, and, or, Re or Reva, um, <laughs> um, slide across the floor, igniting her lightsaber at the same time, which is such a cool shot, by the way. Like, Wow, I think we're going to see that, and then I think Obi-Wan will probably realise, oh shoot, the Inquisitors, Inquisitors are here. Wait, they're here for me! And then he's probably going to escape the planet somehow. I'm not exactly sure how he's going to do that, and I think that's where the episode's going to end. So, pretty basic first episode, setting up all the main plot points we have for the show. But then the second episode, I think, is where things are going to get a little bit interesting. The second episode, I'm predicting, we're going to be seeing that city-like planet that we've seen in the trailers. So, I've got two theories for that. It's either Ord Mantell from the Bad Batch, or it's that weird asteroid thing that we met Cassian Andor on in Rogue One for the first time. You know those two asteroids that are held together like um, by a... A man-made bridge. Yeah, that one. So it's either Ord Mantell or that place. I don't remember its name. I, I'll put it down in the description or in the comments for you guys to go and check out. But I think that's where we're going to be going in this episode. And, as we've also seen from the trailers, that's where we're going to be meeting an old friend. CT7567, aka Clone Captain Rex of the 501st. Yep, I think they're going to rope in Rex this early. Granted, it's already a third of the way into the show, but still, I think they're going to drag in Rex right from the get-go. So Obi-Wan A can find out what happened during Order 66 and why Cody shot him down literally just after giving him back his lightsaber. And B, so that Obi-Wan has an ally for the first time in like a decade. So, but I think Obi-Wan is naturally going to be very, very wary of Rex at first. And then Rex will probably show that, you know, he's not 
as, well, he isn't affected by the chip because he doesn't have it anymore. And then Obi-Wan will probably say some lines of, okay, Rex, I'm listening. Or probably still having his lightsaber in his hand. Again, pretty understandably, the last time he saw a clone, he got blasted off a cliff by one. Um, so that's pretty understandable there. And then Rex will obviously explain the situation about the chips. And then Obi-Wan will probably have a bit of a revelation of, oh my god. We really let Palpatine do this and no one did a thing? So that's probably what's going to happen there. And then Obi-Wan will let <laughs> let Rex join him for the um, for the ride of, you know, dodging the Inquisitors like the plague. Do I think we'll see Vader in these first two episodes? Uh, no. I think they'll leave Vader for like episode three, maybe four. Um... Yeah, I don't think we'll see Vader this soon. We may see him in, like, a, a brief quick cameo on the Fortress Inquisitorius, like, over a communication. Not in person. Like, I think they'll leave Vader to, like, the third or, the third or fourth episode of the show. If I'm wrong, hey, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. But as of now, I don't think we're going to see him in these first two episodes. If we do, though, fine by me. But yeah, honestly, the first two episodes... I think they're going to be very action-packed, probably a bit more of what I described here. But obviously, I'm just giving the brief, um, basic predictions, because I don't know how this is going to go yet. All I know is that we're going to be starting on Tatooine, and then probably by the end of this first episode, he's going to be blasting off to another planet, potentially meeting up with Rex, if I am right on which planet he's going to first. I hope. Because let's face it, if he, if and when he does decide to go to Coruscant's, He's gonna need all the help he can get. Again, I would not want to be a lone Jedi on Coruscant ten years after Order 66. No thanks. Mm -mm, I'm good. And I'm much imagining that Obi-Wan is thinking the same, because he knows how well his last trip to Coruscant went, having to slaughter half the 501st, which I can't imagine Rex would be too happy about, but in the end... He's probably going to understand why he had to, because as he said, as Rex said to Ahsoka in the last episode of the, oh, episode of the Clone Wars, it's us or them. And I think Rex will understand, okay, you chose them. Fair enough. You didn't know what was going on. Fair enough. Um, so I think Rex may let that one slide, considering the situation. Um, do I think um, Obi-Wan will tell Rex about Luke? Possibly. Like, we could learn about that, and then he may end up telling Rex about Anakin and who he is now, which I think will break Rex's heart in into many pieces. And I'm not ready for that. Like, no, I am not ready to see Rex learn that, Je that General Skywalker is now Darth Vader. Mm -mm, not ready for that. No, thanks. Mm -mm. But I know it's going to have to happen at some point in the series if Rex is indeed in it. And honestly... I'm damn near banking on that. Oh, and one other thing. I think we could see our first Clone Wars flashback. Especially when Rex shows up. We may get some flashbacks to the Clone Wars once Rex sees him. No, or once he sees Rex, I should say. We may get a flashback to maybe Umbara or, I don't know, Christophsis, Geonosis. There's many battles they could choose. But I'm hoping that we see a Clone Wars flashback in the first couple of episodes because... I would love that. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video and my predictions for the first two episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my Rocks and Sam Frost's channels. That link's are in the description. Master button is down there, of course. Yeah, that big red one, unless you've already subbed. Then it's grey. Thank you for that, by the way. And once you've done that, don't forget to click all three. My bell icon to get all three sets of notifications. Comment as well, because why not? And let me know what you think of my predictions for these first two episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi, and what your predictions are in the comments below as well. Um, don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. They'll be in the link tree in the description. And check out Roxanne's website and Frost's Instagram. They'll be below my link tree in the description. And lastly, please, please, please do not forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing. And around, and around, and around that loop. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. 
Goodbye.